Irene Dubois, she comes in. She's where she says, "Okay, somebody's wearing cheap perfume. Oh wait, it's me." How droll. Um, she's the alien queen from Seattle. She she's she's <laughs> from Texas. Are you, are you, um, dry, are you dry, hun? Uh, kind of like your vagina. Be a bird. Caw. <laughs> like. So wait, so uh, on a scale, if you were grading that entrance line, what would you give it? I mean, it would have worked if people were in the room, maybe. Like, it would have been like, oh, funny. But, like, nobody was there, and I wasn't laughing. Okay. Were you? Uh, she wasn't gagging me. The, like, I could smell the cheap perfume through the screen. <laughs> smell me smell through the phone. Let me smell your dick. <laughs> we get Lux Noir London, and she says, gag them a bit for sure. I know Lux Noir London. She's my Alexis Davenport. I have to tell everyone every episode that I know her. You know Lux? I know Lux Noir London, yes. Uh, lucky Lux. We've done shows together. She's made garments for me. She's lovely. At the last minute. I've mm-hmm. said this a hundred times on the I, I will keep saying it, but she's great. I did a gig with her. She was really good. Is the hair 40 inches? Um, You're a hair girl. I don't know. I think I would need to see it, but it, it maybe maybe it was when she bought it and styling it a few times has like made it shed. Maybe, so maybe it was 40 when she bought it, but I don't know if it's 40 now. Are you 40 now? Yes. Work. I am. Huh. Um, uh, did you think it was 40? I don't know what 40 looks like. Honey, like, 40 looks like this. Yes. Mama, mama, yes. Un- mama, look, un- mama, plus, 40 honey. looks like this, plus, sweetie. Yes. Plus, this yes. is what 40 looks like, sweetie. Uh, no, I don't know what 40 inches of hair looks like. But to I, meet a girl, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is 60. Maybe 40 centimeters? Maybe she got it in centimeters. <laughs> All right. You know what? She needs to just pull out the unit on... On Instagram Live mm-hmm. with a tape measure. She doesn't want to, does she? No. Okay, that's fine. But Mother must. Mother must. <laughs> Ara Miari comes yeah. into the room and she says, do you feel that aura, aura, ah, ah? <laughs> I bet you do. Um, is she the trade of the season as purported? So far. I mean, sure. she's uh, Nashville breeds good looking drag queens. Everybody's pretty down there and she's from there. She's high energy performance. She's they must have like a gym inside Play Nashville, right? For the girls, because the girls <laughs> bulk are up, girls. Bulk up. Do they have a smoothie bar like at know. the club? I don't know. The girls are swole. The only powder those girls are on is creatine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, Cameron Michaels creatine. or Miari. <laughs> she looks great. She's gorgeous. She looks pretty great, <laughs> honestly. Um, Marsha, Marsha, Marsha comes into the room uh, doing a Cousin It hair reveal mm-hmm. and with the nose bandage. She's a singer, dancer, actor, New Yorker girl, Broadway. Oh, yeah. can I interrupt real quick? I want to say congratulations to Milan because she's in the new Sweeney Todd on Broadway. No way. Everybody uh, go see it. Oh my God. Uh-huh. Wait, you're Milan? Uh, season four Milan. Yeah. Yeah. You're C- your sister. Uh-huh. These Broadway girls, these, our sisters work on Broadway and Marsha, Marsha, Marsha does too. She's got her BFA. She's very like, Aura says she kind of looks like Jan. And I was like, ooh. Jan was mentioned in the first five minutes. That's why to the viewing party, I wore my Jan shirt. I mean. By JS. I'm I, just saying. I I pledge to the Jantasy at all times. <laughs> yes. Um, totally. She's a New York girl. But Anitra, ooh, when she comes in, she says, what? Ha. <laughs> 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 she says she has a, she's a stunt queen. She does not have a wig underneath her fucking spiky helmet because, honey, she's, she's broke. broke. <laughs> and, honey, that's fine. Sustainability. Wigs are bad for the environment. There. I said it. I'm telling vanity. So this this whole little show not sustainable. Uh uh-uh. uh. Cock at a knot. This whole little you know drag whatever this is mm. not sustainable. You should do a, a, a hair cap just made of bows like all those bows no wig just bows bows okay. on bows bows on bows bows on bows baby. Malaysia then, baby doll 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 fox baby. 
She's giving us fucks. And I have to tell you, it took me until this morning. Listen, I just saw the episode yesterday. But it took me until this morning to realize that she was dressed like a fox because her last name is Fox. Yeah, you didn't get that? Listen, we were watching in a crowded nightclub. And then there were two fox jokes. What does the fox say? You think I could hear what they were saying? And they didn't put on the subtitles at Heartwheel, which is my only critique of the night. Yeah. Otherwise, a fabulous, you know, stunning evening. It would have been nice to know what they said because I didn't know most of what any time Sasha was talking because we were all cheering so loudly and standing up and right. going crazy. Same with us titties. Yeah. But like I rewatched it when I got home. This was the best premiere I've ever seen. Oh yeah. This it was like good. It, these girls knocked it out of the fucking park. Yeah. So like that's the other reason I'm trying to say nice things about people for this podcast. Can't wait to see how long that lasts. It's gonna. It's gonna. I'm gonna try. Princess Poppy, she's homo. Phobic. Phobic. So, uh, did you... Boom, 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 boom. (laughs) Homophobic. I don't know why I'm missing the joke, why this is funny. She had a viral video on TikTok about it, she says. That's, like, in her entrance. She's gone viral on TikTok. She raps, acts, and she's funny. They love to make all the girls feel like Boo Boo the Fool, don't they? Yeah. Because they're like, I had a... I'm viral on TikTok. My video has 700,000 likes. Ha <laughs> ha. And knowing that they're going to put, you know, this, the twins. Uh, these juggernauts of TikTok. Yeah. Um, who who have accumulated, you know, 8 million or whatever followers on, t- on TikTok. I mean, they're fun to look at. I get it. But no, I guess it was a, a, dr- a dress that said, I'm homo. And then she turned around and it said phobic. I guess it's, I mean, it's sarcasm and it's, you know, um, it's ir- irony. It's causing a chasm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. Um, but she looks good. She's funny as fuck. Yeah. Uh, and she can fold her ears inside of herself. That was great. Yeah. You know what? I take everything back. I'm happy she's here. Can't wait to see what she does. You weren't happy she was there? Well, for a second, I was like, I don't get the homophobic thing. I just didn't understand it. Like, why was that your entrance line? I guess I. It just seems like a different. I guess because it's like, I guess I guess the joke is just that it's absurd that a drag queen dressed so flamboyantly would say such a thing. That's what I think the joke is. Please send us letters if you think I'm wrong, because I, you know. I'm probably just not getting the what's it called, the intricacies of it. <laughs> How long has everyone been doing drag? This was really the interview question. Yeah, they went in uh, ten, d- 10 years for Irene. The baby queen is Marsha. She says two years, one on Instagram. And mm-hmm. Lux has four years. Princess has seven years. So it's like, but nobody's over 30, probably. Doesn't look like it. Maybe Irene. Babies. Yeah. Babies doing drag. No, uh, no, no queens over 40 on this season, right? Young. I don't know. But Malaysia's mad. She's like, how can you say you're a drag queen if you've only done drag for a year? Uh, which is a debate that shall go on throughout this episode. And I think I have a feeling throughout this whole season. So, you know, uh, listen, it's like what it's both. It's both things. You should be good at, you know, standing on stage and talking in a microphone, but you should also, you, you kind of nowadays have to learn how to be good at social media too, to an extent. Mm-hmm. So I think it's both things. Oh, yay. Sasha Carrington Colby oh. comes oh. in the door. She says, period. Iconic. She looks incredible as always. Her entrance, she said, uh, she is the body queen. She's like, I'm the body, body queen. queen. Oh. Oh my God. Yeah, no, she is. Body queen. Um, this is so exciting. We've all been so excited to see her. And I bet these girls were excited, followed by, oh, fuck. This is the kind of entrance that, like, Chad Michaels got where everybody was like, is that Chad Michaels? Yeah. It's like that is the legend kind of, like, status, you know? So, yeah. Sasha, we've all been waiting. And now it's finally here. She looks fucking sickening. She looks She's cool. got some kind of fucking bone in her hand with bejewels on it. I don't know what it is, but She's it looks gonna great. She's going to chase Courtney Act around with it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, stage. that was a rumor. I don't know where you heard that. Um, everybody is gagged, and Sasha's intro is so great. She's funny. She's charming. She's like, uh, I birthed Kurt, Co- uh, Carrie. It was an easy birth. <laughs> and then she said, I can't have Carrie being the most famous Colby. Yeah. She's like, uh-uh. Without further to do. 
So gorgeous. Yeah. For Selena S. Titties. She's here. Los Angeles queen, our friend. Oh, I, Friend oh, of the pod. Dear. She says, in this meeting for, is this the meeting for the Itty Bitty Titty Committee? Because they're here. She is, she's like everywhere in LA. Yeah, she's really, really funny. She's, um, her energy shows through immediately. And her beauty, look is really wild Beauty, and cool. clean, all the outfits fit. Everything's tailored. She's great. Mm -hmm. She's lovely. She's got a lot of energy and something to say. And the bar went up. Oh, yeah. We didn't hear one word of her entrance. She was because above we were us screaming in the, in the upper level, and I think her drink was dripping on me. So, huh, fame. Well, you're so famous. Can I can I beat your fame story? Because I was wearing a Sasha shirt. Uh -huh. It's not beat. Can I can I also share my story? Okay. I was wearing a Sasha shirt, and Fifth Harmony's "That's My Girl" was playing, and Sasha was in the balcony, mm. and then she looked down, and I was pointing at my shirt, and I was saying, "That's my girl," and singing mm. the Fifth Harmony song. And like it was a moment and like I love her and I'm so happy that she's there. And I was like, it's literally my girl. You're on my shirt, bitch. And she saw it. Like, she looked amazing. She's so beautiful up in that corner with all those Hawaiian lays, honey. Silver dress. Did you see the silver oh, dress? Mama, it looked like a Mackie to me. It was beautiful. She is Mackie so gown. pretty. Um, Next into the workroom is Amethyst. Oh, Amethyst. <laughs> Amethyst. Um, <laughs> she says, is this thing on? She's so cute and weird. Yeah. Uh, the She's resident meme queen and pop star diva from Connecticut. I'm sorry. I'm 40, but will you tell me what a meme queen is? I don't. What? Uh, what? Uh, what uh, Dipper? Do you know what that is? A it's actually queen? pronounced Mimi queen. Oh, Mimi, Mimi queen. Yeah. Is it? No. I don't know oh. why her name is Mimi. I'm first. I mean, she's not she's first. first. She's not even second. second. <laughs> Kids, she, she means... learn that monologue. <laughs> Season three of Untucked. It's That's just Delta work chock line, full yeah. of everything. She means like she's an internet jokester and like people have turned her stuff into memes and she probably creates that kind of content as well. Sounds super fun. Yeah. Well, she is very funny, and that's yeah. very clear. I love her sort of weird, uh, you know, drag, and she's very goofy. Her Meet the Queens was very funny. I think she's a funny girl. Her honesty in the interview chair, too, was great because she said she thought she was one of the bigger names in Connecticut, even though she's only been doing drag two years. Right. <laughs> and she went viral on TikTok. They're uh -huh. trying to set these girls up with this. Anyway, make way for your MVP because it's spelled J A X. Jax looks amazing. He's got a lot. Of, she's got a lot of energy. She's also from Connecticut. And <laughs> <laughs> what is with Connecticut's drag race? Connecticut because they're serving it. Connecticut. Yeah, uh, but the funny thing is, the person who before her said they were from Connecticut. What's her name? I need to go back on the. Amethyst. Amethyst. Sorry. Yeah. Homegirl said that um, she's one of the bigger, she likes to think she's one of the bigger names. Jax is from Connecticut, doesn't know her. <laughs> so they are. Who are you? You're from Connecticut? Oh, me too. Our state has a population of 200. <laughs> and I've never heard of you, cunt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Lucy LaDuca comes in next. Is she wearing LaDucas? That's what I always want to know. I mean... uh, oh, Lucy, you've got some slaying to do. It took me until today to realize that, oh, she said that because her name is Lucy. Listen, I was, listen, hey, girl. Yeah, it was hard to hear in there. Yes. I was too dazzled by all the beauty. Mm, dazzling beauties. And she looks great. Uh, she looks great. She's also from Connecticut. <laughs> oh, God. And she How, doesn't know the other girl. Why is the Okay. Do you think they're doing this because they're setting up I don't know that maybe these girls know each other. Maybe there will be an alliance. Maybe there will be drama because they're all from the same place. I don't know why Connecticut. Why now? Dragon Connecticut, twenty twenty four. I why now? What I, is this? I don't know. The talent pool just just Connecticut. They said these girls. The pool is deep in Connecticut. I mean, there's times where there's there's ep there's seasons where there's not for like four girls from New York or four girls from L A. Like earlier, so like Connecticut. That's is New York and L A. Yeah, Texas. Sometimes there's a few girls from Texas. Yeah, never mind. You're right. <laughs> Three girls in a row from the same state. And then there's a fourth after that, I think, right? Is of a state that has never been featured on... I don't know what it is. Once Maybe tax law, favorable tax <laughs> laws or something. <laughs> Wigs or write-offs. I don't know, but I, you know what? I like it. I like all the uh, Connecticut, Connecticut girls. That's a ding-dong for me, too. 
Um, but Lucy Laduca, it's just her entrance. She says everything in her name. It's Laduca. She's like a show queen. You've got to cut loose. <laughs> uh, you've got to cut loose. I don't know. How I don't remember how the song but, I liked her I, song. Um, yeah, her song was amusing. Mistress. You may call me Mistress. <laughs> she says, don't be fooled. The camera adds 10 pounds. My name is Dita. I'll be your Mistress Isabel Brooks for the evening. You know why she's so amazing, right? Why? She's the Davenport. Oh, uh, <laughs> you know collects. She's that I know her. Wait, do I have a bug? Yeah. If you're on Mom Plus, please, uh, please help us find the bug. Don't kill the bug. They're my friend. Really? You don't kill bugs? No. Not even mosquitoes. No. Really? No, I just shoot them away. I mean, they oh. pretty much die. On no, own. I kill if I see a mosquito. They are my enemies. Um, Mr. Isabel Burks has on, Burks. <laughs> has on, it looks like a screw she got from Home Depot of a heel. I like this shoe. Let me tell you why. Tell me. Biscuit heel. That's not a biscuit heel. They were that's trying a, to call her a biscuit that's heel. That's a kitten stiletto. It's a kitten. A very rare. It's a kitten heel because a biscuit heel has a very thick, short heel, which. A biscuit. Hello. looks like a biscuit. This is like a st- spike. That is, you know, it's a fuck me shoe for the ergonomic long. set. Yeah, <laughs> it's a little spike and it's a stiletto. I've never seen a shoe like that. Me neither. Maybe if I had known maybe, those existed, I would have worn them on All Star. You know what? Maybe it started taller. It's true. It's <laughs> oh, <that's> <laughs> <laughs> worked its that's way in. That's always the joke. Um, <laughs> the the MIB comes hard for Selena. Who's MIB? Mistress Isabel. Mib. Queen her. Mib. Mad Madam Mib. <laughs> <laughs> when she jumps and she's got her ponytails, Mad Madam Mim, I love her. She's dragon. M I B. That's hot. Oh, M I B. Oh, I love that. In the press tour, they kept. M I B says. Uh, Next queen. She says, "What's?" She goes up to <laughs> Selena, Mr. <laughs> Isabel Brooks, and she says. What's this? To like what she's wearing? They refer to kind of confrontational MIB because Selena looks a lot great on the press tour. All the yeah. other girls, <laughs> she's this? reading from the get. What's she this? She likes to. What's this? Know, she comes in hot, and then she says, "Next queen." But if you just met a girl, you look at her drag and be like, "What's this?" I would be like nice to her at least, like even if I didn't like her drag, mm-hmm. which you know, mm. what's this? <laughs> I think that's kind of like. <laughs> like, I don't know. It's like pissing on somebody's like, "What's this?" And what's this? Well, I know what this is. Robin Fierce, Fierce. comes in the room. Uh, she mirror, has- mirror on the wall. Who's the fiercest queen of them all? <gasps> it's me. <laughs> and I'm also from Connecticut. <laughs> Four. Four. Four Connecticut girls. Uh, it's like the Katie, Katie Price song, There's Something in the Water, or Katie Welsh. Katie Welsh song. Uh, She's on a billboard on the What about Sunset Jennifer right Page? Now. It's just a little crush. It's just a little crush. Not like Mom Plus. Every time uh, Mom Plus. Robin and Amethyst have fucked. They did. And Come what, on, let's not dance around the subject. We all know that's what they're talking about. What? They've had a tryst. So it's already setting up. They're going to lip sync. Former lovers, lip sync. You know RuPaul is you know for that. RuPaul, RuPaul is down. What RuPaul all RuPaul wants is for two contestants who are having a romantic entanglement on her show. She literally said that to me on the red carpet of your it's season. All she wants. She said we finally all have a little romance. There's in an interview. It's on tape, and like there was no romance your season. They tried to force it with that storyline, like a little bit, but like they try to force it every season, or they've tried to force it many seasons. Well, I don't want to say anything bad about them. But Robin Fierce is... Um, I would is, sooner step on my own lips. In the interview chair, Robin is like, I'll let Amethyst tell you about that if she wants. That's right. <laughs> Robin said, no. Well, this doesn't look like the toy store. Uh, th- before we get to... <gasps> whatever. That was my line. Uh, whatever. How, how many times do you think they practice that before they memorize that it? was my line that's what i said to detox <laughs> in the bathroom stall she said no there was that only was w- my line there was only one on there it was it was a <laughs> <laughs> there was a bend in the there was a bend in my line 
Yeah. Detox does not do lines of coke. Detox? She does bumps. <laughs> Detox can uh, do <laughs> so much coke that if you put two lines out, she can sniff down the middle in the empty space and it all goes in. That's how powerful her nose is. No! It is. It's a powerful nose. She can. She is that girl. Um, the Sugar sh- and Spice. They're the TikTok twins. We all know them. Apparently, they are. They were on my beatdown show like four years ago. Like sure. some video they made. So they've How been viral for a they? while. They're like over 21, I think. Or just about to be 21, maybe. Huh. Yeah. They're like Brendan Jordan's age, you know, going out of clubs at 13, I feel like. They have, yeah, they have been, well, they haven't been doing dragon clubs, but they've been going, I don't, I don't know. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. But they, I feel like they've been around, I've known of them. Yeah, me too. In, in some peripheral manner for a long time. Definitely. So, uh, you know, I, this definitely sets up the fuel of the engine that's going to run this whole season. Uh, there's a few girls who do not like the TikTok twins. The mm-hmm. Doublemint twins have done lost their mind. <laughs> and there, it's going to be like this old school drag versus new school drag conflict, as we've seen in other seasons. Mm-hmm. But that's what we're seeing here. Oh. 